Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, I am bringing you wonderful news. Because if you've ever wanted to draw Pokemon cards and have them printed as proper Pokemon cards, I have got wonderful news for you, ladies and gentlemen. Because a competition is running over in Japan where you can legitimately become a Pokemon trading card game illustrator. Not the easiest route into a job, but come on. Who else is giving you that opportunity? Now, the website is in Japanese. I, I think I've got most of the details down here. I'll pop a link to the website in the description. And it refers to the first illustration Grand Prix. Now, I don't know about you, but when somebody calls something the first Illustration Grand Prix, that suggests to me rather strongly that there's going to be a second Illustration Grand Prix, and a third, and so on and so forth. I think this is going to keep going. So the competition is very simple. You have to take one of ten Pokemon. Charizard, Pikachu, Slowpoke, Eevee, Mewtwo... Ho-Oh, Gardevoir, Metagross, Darkrai, or Solgaleo. And you have to draw a card. And the theme is scenery with Pokemon. So it's not just about drawing these guys onto a card. It's about drawing them in a scene. In familiar everyday scenery. How cool does that sound? It's a bit weird that it's so hyper-specific. If you ask me to guess why, my guess would be all of these guys are getting new cards in the near future. So you might as well put people to task drawing these. Having said that, there's got to be a lot of other Pokemon getting cards in the near future. Maybe they thought these were the ones that were going to lead to the most interesting ones. I mean, certainly someone like Mamoswine. Mamoswine's my boy, right? But are you really going to get Mamoswine sitting in your kitchen? Having said that, you're going to get Solgaleo sitting in your kitchen. So maybe I take that back. The point is, you've got to get one of these, and you've got to go do some illustrating. Cool. And the website does refer to this as the first in over 20 years of history. Now, it's not actually the first time they've ever done a Pokemon TCG art contest. More on that in a moment. But it seems to be the first time they're actively using this as a recruitment tool. So this is probably the part of the video where we need to look at the prizes that are on offer. So, what are the prizes? Well, the player who comes first, or the artist who comes first, gets 300,000 yen. Now, I know not all of you are currency conversion experts, so if you're in the UK like me, that is £2,026.10p at the current exchange rate, although... Uh, let's say euphemistically that there are things going on with the British currency at the moment. Google it, it's not hard to find. Many of you, however, are in the US. So in US dollars, that is $2,698.81. Let's call it $2,700. Not a bad little prize. I mean, to be fair, you get 5000 for winning a regional nowadays. So it's not exactly the hugest cash prize ever. But I'm going to be honest, right? It's not about the cash. Because the winner... Get your award-winning work presented as a card. What that means is you get your illustration printed as a card. And what is really cool here is that you might be hired off the back of this to become a certified illustrator of the Pokemon card game. Now, it says very clearly it's not just the winners... Applicants who have produced excellent works may become a certified illustrator. So you might end up coming third in the competition, and you don't get the 300,000 yen, and you don't get your work presented to you as a card, but you still get essentially hired, it seems, as an illustrator of the Pokemon card game, which is frankly phenomenal. Now, the second place person gets 100,000 yen, which all right, it's not quite as high, but 
according to the conversion over XE.com as I'm recording this, that still comes out to $900. 899 and 58 cents, but I'm calling it $900. And then four other people, so that's third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, come out at 50,000 yen. And I'm assuming most of you have figured out at this stage that's basically $450. Not bad. Okay, it's $449.79. It's $450, gosh darn it. So, not too bad. I mean, really, right, the cash prizes here, they're not huge. What we're excited about is, not only can you get your card printed, but you can actually be hired, or I don't know if it's hired, but certainly contracted, to draw some actual Pokemon cards. Now, here is the downside. Good news, you've got till the end of March to do this. Yay! Bad news... You must be currently living in Japan. Doesn't matter how old you are. Doesn't matter what your nationality is. Doesn't matter if you are a professional or amateur artist. Although underage people do need parental consent. But you've got to be living in Japan. Now, if you're not currently living in Japan, that does mean that you have to fly to Japan, move to Japan, and enter by the end of March, which is a lot... But if you can find me a better way to go and draw Pokemon cards, I'd love to hear it. Now, this is not actually the first time there has been an art competition. Not for the Pokemon TCG. The first one actually led to the Illustrator Pikachu card. Famously, probably the most expensive Pokemon card there actually is. So, essentially, Korokoro Magazine is a magazine over in Japan... And there was a competition at the end of 1997 whereby you would draw a Pokemon card and the best entrants actually ended up getting them printed as real cards and got Illustrator Pikachu. And we ended up with three winners, which were a Poliwrath, a Snorlax and a Mr. Mime, all of which ended up getting printed as Pokemon cards in Japan. I do believe they never made it outside of Japan, unfortunately, but it did happen. Weirdly enough, there was also a competition run in the video game Pokemon Snap, of all things, whereby you actually had to take pictures in Pokemon Snap and submit them to Koro Koro, and then the top five entries had their artwork featured on reprints, and then you'd get some copies of the card. So that was kind of cool. Meant if you didn't draw, you were still all right. Which was quite nice. And there was another one run from a Japanese TV show as well. One of my favorites, Wizards of the Coast actually ran an illustration competition. And it was won by this Snorlax, which did get printed as a promo card. And that was actually an English language one. The first one I believe we ever actually had which was kind of cool. And there's been a few others, but the most recent one, and certainly the one which you're probably most aware of, was Pokemon Art Academy. You see, Pokemon Art Academy was a video game, weirdly enough, the, I believe to date, certainly the first spin-off that was developed in the UK. And what you did was you drew Pokemon cards in the game, and then some of them were printed, which is really quite cool. Now, the winning entries you got printed up, and each winner received 100 copies of the card, etc., etc. Some of them have been sold off. Some of them haven't. There are some, especially Japanese winners, who have basically kept them to themselves and not ended up sending them out, which is kind of cool, although makes it... Very, very awkward to actually get hold of. But they were never actually printed as proper Pokemon cards. They were, well, they, they were printed out and given to the winners. But they never made it out into circulation. So, we've had illustration contests before, and I've talked you through a couple of them. But let's be clear about this, ladies and gentlemen. We have never had an illustration contest like this. This is weird, but awesome. If you're living outside Japan, yeah, there's a, there's a decent chance that you're probably not going to be able to enter this. 
But come on. They're actually running a competition where you can become a Pokemon card illustrator. And it certainly sounds like this is not just the odd card. No. This could be more. Also, before we finish, I have to shout out. If you look at the lovely Snorlax promo, he's curled up next to Eevee. Can anyone say foreshadowing? Yes. I most certainly can. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This art competition sounds awesome. I would love to have one of these run outside of Japan. I would enter despite my questionable, and by questionable, I mean completely and utterly limited and embarrassing artistic ability. Just on the off chance I actually won by accident. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to know what you think about this, how excited you are, and hey, if you've got some artwork you'd like to share, post it in the comment section, or send it to me over on Twitter, at the Wassy. I'd love to hear. But for, wait, no, see, you see art. But for now, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at The Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Plays, where we talk about games that don't have Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.